and changes the stress on suction has been removed uh, so you can clear airway if needed but the word suction has been removed the cord clamping uh, decision making we will discuss in detail next that has been expanded and in terms of the chart for the oxygen saturation the saturation at one minute was removed because it's very unlikely that you would have the pulse oximeter connected and reading before the two minutes of age and in practical terms you would have just started the resuscitation process so you start looking at the oxygenation after that so in terms of delayed cord clamping the eighth edition said uh, 30 to 60 seconds in vigorous term babies but the ninth edition has been improved uh, it's more consistent with the world health organization and other guidelines and uh, it's suggested to wait for 60 seconds in the vigorous babies uh, in the babies who are not active the cord clamping guidelines has been revised again in the previous guideline it just said you know, cord milking is not recommended less than 28 weeks but now there is more clarity between 35 and 42 weeks gestation in the babies who are not suitable for uh, delayed cord clamping cord milking is a suitable alternative and uh, for non-vigorous premature babies at 28 to 34 weeks there is not enough evidence but you could consider cord milking is an option but under 28 weeks because of the increased risk of IVH delayed uh, cord clamping cannot be done then cord milking cannot be recommended in terms of the oxygen concentration that we start obviously there is more evidence coming in as well so previously we used to say more than 35 weeks 21 percent and less than 35 weeks 21 to 30 percent so the choice was left open but now we have a more clarity from the ninth edition so more than or equal to 35 weeks you start in room air as we currently do and in the premature babies we have two subgroups 32 to 34 weeks you start between 21 to 30 percent so you can choose if the baby needs resuscitation you could go with 30 percent as well and in the babies less than 32 weeks we aim for more than or equal to 30 percent and this number is likely to change to a higher figure as more results are awaited so there is more focus there was a recent meta-analysis as you remember that showed uh, almost uh, 90 to 100 percent oxygen is better for the small babies in reaching the heart rate faster and a better outcome so that's something to look at in terms of the ventilation rate this is more uh, a practical change previously we used to say 40 to 60 breaths per minute and uh, we do have the rhythm that we use for the uh, resuscitation and if someone is closely monitoring they may correct you but in real terms uh, 30 to 60 breaths per minute is a change in the current edition which gives more flexibility and you also avoid uh, CO2 wash out with the faster respiratory rate if that is the case so uh, it doesn't change much in terms of what you practically do but if someone is rigorously monitoring in your unit counting exactly and feeding back then that can reduce uh, in terms of the initial peak inflation pressure the range of 20 to 25 was given and we used to say start for premature babies uh, less than 32 weeks at 20 and for the bigger babies at 25 but now the suggestion is to start directly with 25 for both preterm and term baby 